today we're going to talk about, uh, we have three different animals here for y'all, and we're going to talk about the different habitats that these species uh, like to live in. Um, so if y'all could split into um, groups of four or less, so four max. Like four um, people. Four people. Four people, yeah, sorry, four people. So just to, like, kind of stand out for Shelby is, uh, she wet my hands, so why do you think she might have wet my hands? What kind of habitat would that mean that she, that Sanford lives in? Wet, wet areas? Yes. Any other ideas? If you're nervous, just put your hands behind your back. Kind of like a swampy, wet area. Yeah. And you can look at your sheet. Um, could you, someone name one of the things that might contribute to his habitat that he lives in? Non-polluted areas. Non-polluted areas. Cool. Water. Water. Lots of. Yes, somewhere to hide. Insects mm -hmm. for him to feed on. Insects. <coughs> Probably somewhere with logs. Uh, CWD, which is poor sorty debris. Um, and we like to leave CWD out so that people like, or not people, huh? <laughs> friends like Sanford have a place to sleep. Um, so when you're looking at your habitat today, you might want to find somewhere that has a lot of CWD. So we're going to put Sanford away and bring out our next friend, but um, just to give you an idea of someone that might live in these habitats. Like so, just oh, Uh, Alright, as he's going back in, I'm going to introduce you to my friend. Um, um, this is Sharon. Um, you have three animals listed, three species listed on your um, sheet. Which one would this belong to, probably? This is the box turtle. The box turtle, good job, thank you. So what are some of the... Uh, characteristics of habitat that Sharon would like to hang out in. Dry, grassy fields. Mm -hmm. Streams. Streams, yep. Damp forest. Damp forest, yep. Um, also, during this time of year, what would, maybe when it gets colder, what would Sharon be doing? Hibernating. Hibernating, yeah. Uh, she's missing a, an arm, um, mm -hmm. so she might have some more difficulty uh, building a burrow to, to rest in for the winter, but um, you can take that into consideration when thinking about um, where uh, where turtles would be um, living. Um, she lost her arm. Um, we, I think we've met her um, in this class. She lost her arm uh, through a mowing accident. Thanks. So, yeah. Poor Sharon. Um, and that's 
So everybody say bye to Sharon. Bye. So, but now we're about to say hello to one of my very good friends. She is super duper sweet and super duper cool. And her name is Snowy. So she is a corn snake, but she looks a little bit different than the usual corn snake. She is albino. So if that sheet was colored, you would notice that she has a lot more darker skin pattern, which helps her do a lot of very cool things. And as a reminder, if you are scared or a little bit nervous around her, don't be afraid to put her your arms behind your back. But what do you think that dark pattern may help her do? Camouflage. Hi. Yeah, camouflage. Hi. But what areas might she hide in? A cornfield. Cornfields, yeah. Anywhere else? Forest, yep. Yeah. Out there in something like that. Yeah, that's a good good eye. So, she likes to hide and she likes to chill out. And where would she maybe like to lay her eggs? Would she want to hide in somewhere that a predator could get them easily or be uh, sheltered? Sheltered, yeah. So, Snowy is super duper yeah. cool. She likes to have a lot of fun in the sun, as you can tell. She's a cold body creature so she's trying to get up in my sweatshirt because it's very warm um, <laughs> so we're about to say bye to snowy and marcy's going to explain our next little activity <laughs> cool so um so we're so we split into groups but we do need six groups so i think we kind of miscalculated so i know we have like a big group here so if we could split into like a three and a two, that would be awesome. So we have six groups. Um, so we're going to have two teams per, um, per animal that we have here, per species. And we're going to have each group go out and try to and find a habitat that suits your animal. Um, and then we're going to vote. The, the groups that did not have that animal are going to vote on which habitat they think is better for that species based on the way they defend it and the way they describe the habitat and like what would be perfect for that species. Um, so I'll sp split y'all into different species. So um, you'll be salamander and you'll be box turtle. In a regular four-legged box turtle. <laughs> She's regular. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, time it. Okay. What is this group right here? What is it? Box turtle? With four legs. Oh, that's right, 100%. <laughs> 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 well, we were essentially like, we were on this side, or maybe over there, that Jaden's coming with the sheep. What are you guys? Salamanders. This is good stuff. How are we going to get them out? And food source. And that one, yeah, I think that one might be interesting. It's not completely in the water. I like CWD in the equation. <laughs> Good stuff. What's your animal, Sharon? What do you got? Okay, are these ladies are salamanders. Hey, as I look across there, is there something on that log out there? Is there a turtle sitting there or not? It looks like a little bump. I see a bump, but I don't know if it's a shell or not. 
I don't know. I just noticed it. it looks like it. I don't it know. looks it's a little like chilly. Like, <laughs> yeah. It looks cold. Yeah, yeah. If there is yeah. one. Poor guy's not moving very fast, I'm sure. But yeah, I just wonder. I don't know. Yeah. Have a guy in here, Drew? You guys good? What animal did y'all have? Salamander. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll be right here. Oh, yeah. There's so many turtles that sit right there on that little pond on the way to the post. I've noticed so many of them. Why do you think they're Yeah, it has a lot of like. They like shallow water. Shallow is good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a creek that runs into here, that'd be like ideal. But I don't know if there is a creek that comes into here. Also, I was saying there's like a cove over there. Yeah. That I think the like creek better. that flows. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Witch hazel. Y'all get to learn that for dendro. Have y'all taken dendro yet? Oh, well, he's gonna, I guess he's gonna give you all a crash course for your forestry yeah. module, so you might learn that one. Yeah. What's your animal? Why do you think this is a good spot? Because they have some leaf litter here, okay. so if they need to like get down, like, shallow water. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, some close ready to breed. Plenty of places to hide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's, I'm sure it's more in the like summertime. This kind of crowded area. Any questions,
Okay, so, um, so we're going to hear, we're going to travel to and hear from each group and wh what they thought about the habitat and why it's best compared to the other group. And then we're all going to vote on which group had a better defense of their habitat and which habitat is better. So we'll see who wins. It'll be hard fought debate, I hope. Um, so we're going to start with the box turtle. So who are our turtles? Okay. Ooh, does anyone want to go first? Pull up and go first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're so gracious. She's literally got All her right. hand on her nose. She said no <laughs> She said no Okay. okay. So we so start great. over there near the creek because there's shallow water that they can get in since they don't really have deeper water. Also, there's a lot of forest cover and came down to eat for them to hide under and it's soft the ground for them to get. Okay. Anything else? What about food source? They like to eat, you know, like insects, like worms and, mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. Um, and so that's like... Like she had mentioned, it's really soft ground, so it'd be easy for them to dig up and find stuff. And also a lot of leaf litter right there in that cove area. So there's a lot of decomposition going on and a lot of decomposers that are doing that. So a lot of, lot of food options there is all i got to say. Could and I you can you see this? some CWD. Sure. That's what is a decomposer? Well, you see Trevor, <laughs> Mr. Trevor, excuse me. Uh, a decomposer actually breaks down, like, you know, like break it down, um, food, dead things, like that fall to the forest floor. So they'll take something that was once alive, and they'll break it down and put it back into the soil. Okay. Right. That's what my mom told me. <laughs> Here's from our other group of yeah, box battle. turtles. All right, so basically we got a little bit away from um, the, the waterfront view down here. We got a, a CWD pad up here that we're renting out. Uh, pretty nice <laughs> up there by that log. Uh, lots of leaves. Um, mulch kind of there'll be a lot of insects that we'll be feeding on we didn't really want to be down around here we figured if we got down here like a, a fox or if somehow an alligator got in here we really wouldn't want to have to deal with that so we're gonna probably vacation back down there by that creek where it's like real shallow probably find some grubs maybe um some caddis flies and whatnot to feed on um, just kind of wade around in the water and then at the end of the day, we'll just come back up to the casa up here. And what's good about the casa up here is also direct sunlight. Okay, down by the creek, you will get that. They don't have that down there. We have that up here. Yeah. Is there a reason why they won't? Kevin's coming back strong. Is there a reason why they won't direct sunlight? We're cold-blooded, so we want to keep warm, so we can be more active. If we did find a predator, we can kind of see about getting away or. Just get inside of our shell. And also, like my partner said, there's CWD, which uh, other animals come to and bring nuts and stuff, which is in berries. Which Squirrel is guys. A spore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is a That's form good. of our food, so we can get stuff from others. And also, under like under the log a little bit, there's a little burrow already made. So just in case, if we end up like Sharon and only have three arms, there's still a way for us to live. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to vote on who won that? <laughs> Alright, so if you think the ladies over here won it, put your hands up in the air. Woo! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> How about the guys over here? Put your hands up if you think they won it. Thank you. Alright, okay. All right, we have a right. This time. Yeah. This time. Yeah. Welcome anytime. Welcome anytime. Okay, uh, we will do um, our corn snake nest. Okay, so for our area, we decided to get um, around the pine forest right here in the meadow, like right across. We thought those would be good habitats for the corn snake because you have a hard edge up here in the really meadow, like right there. Uh, for the snakes, uh, there's CWD all over the forest for them to lay their eggs in. Um, and then there was um, some rodents and burrows that came in. And also, for the food source, the uh, birds will nest in the trees so that way they can have easy access to their eggs. And that little open area right there can give them some sunshine because as we're also reptiles, as they stated, so we get a little sun to keep our little cold hearts, cold blood warm. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then... I don't know. Uh, would my group members like to add anything that I've left out? You know, you mentioned something like uh, hard edge. I think you mentioned what? What is that? So that is whatever. So 
put me on the spot now. <laughs> so, uh, so, a hard edge is whatever can go from the tree to then it opens. So, the soft edge would be like if we were in it and we were throwing trees. Yeah. I'm not good at explaining myself, but. Yeah, no, you, I, I, I know you know. You know it. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. All right, all right. But, okay. Other snakes here. Hi, so we thought that that area right there would be good because there's CWD. Birds can lay eggs over there, it's close to the water, so frog eggs, salamanders close to the water, they can come out in this area and kind of like get some sunlight. Um, we don't like a ton of coverage right now, like when it's kind of cooler, uh, opposed to like when the leaves are on there. Yeah, and then like they have this open area, they can come out and like sunbathe and uh, eat and lay their eggs in CWD. That's what they like to do. <laughs> All right, so if you're going with this group, pitch, raise your hand. We'll take a vote. All right, I see. Kind of this fun. group's yeah. pitch right here. <laughs> Thank, oh, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh. All right, so you have a winner. Let's congratulate them on their win. <laughs> pretty shallow water and there's a lot of leaf litter. There's also plenty of places for them to hide in the brush. You don't want to continue. And um, <laughs> so as one of the groups, I'm pretty sure as the course Nick said, um, for eating their eggs and or eating the salamanders, like he said, the leaf litter. So there's plenty so they can burrow underneath it. Um, but also it's pretty close to land, so if we need to get back on land for whatever reason, they can kind of transition between the two. Um, there's plenty of sunbathing or um, heated areas. So that way, like if it's summertime, a lot of insects and um, kind of grub will be floating around on there. Um, couldn't tell me and Sanford are buddies, so I was giving him a spa treatment with the water. He actually told me what he wanted. So on the other side of this hill, there's a nice little stream. We got a cute picture of it. Found it right, on Zillow. Right beside the stream, there's a nice log for, with some CWD that he could hide under. Also on the stream with some flies. There were some crickets over there, which he would have as a healthy food source. And lots of leaf litter. He could hide. Also the little stream so he could lay his egg, well his wife, lay his eggs <laughs> in there. <laughs> and so Sanford really wanted the stream. Ah, I see. You have a deep connection with Sanford. I do. We taught. Okay. All right, so let's take a vote. This group over here, if you're going with their habitat, raise your hand. Okay, you got a few votes. This group right here, show the screen. Raise your hand if you're going with <laughs> Oh, it's kind of close. Yeah, I think we have a so we're going to congratulate both of our teams. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a few vacation homes to go to. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we wanted to thank y'all for being such good real estate agents for all our species mm -hmm. here. Um, so to kind of recap and uh, review everything we learned today, then we want to give me like a snapshot of each species or pick, a, pick your favorite species. And give me like a snapshot of their favorite habitat. I'm gonna have to go with. Um, I'm just gonna have to stay true to my heart and say the box turtle. <laughs> um, and just like I said before, we're gonna stick to um, our humble abode up here at the CWD. Uh, it's just kind of like you can see right there big logs, some leaves. It's home sweet home. Awesome. Thank you. One more here. Salamanders need like the wet, like, moist environment and stuff to hide underneath and lots of leaf litter and access to food and stuff. If you had to give one vocab word, 
what would it be? What takeaway vocab word would you put on your word wall? Habitat. Habitat? Nice. How would you define the habitat? Where an animal lives. Nice. <laughs> 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 Can I get two more vocab words? Cold blooded. Cold blooded? Can you describe what a cold blooded animal is? Uh, a reptile. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, amphibian. Um, they don't have a regulated internal body temperature like mammals do, or like birds. Um, so they get all of their body heat from the sun. So that's why um, they're more active during the warmer times of the year, and they need that direct sunlight to um, get that. And that's why a lot of times you'll see dead reptiles out in the road because they're trying to sun on that asphalt and get warmed up. That was an awesome answer. Yeah. One more vocab word. Hard edge. A hard edge. All right, describe um, a hard edge for us. It is the line of demarcation between two different types of habitat. I got you. See, that's what I was trying to say. So, like she said before, trees and then they abruptly stop and then there's something else. Yeah. Good answer. Well, thanks y'all for being such a good audience. And if you'd like to meet any of the friends earlier, maybe uh, give them a two finger touch, we will be over there by the animals and you can come meet them if you have not had the chance to. Yeah, yes. kind of get picked. I was thinking that you same can. thing if we wanted to. Yeah, cast we will bring them back I mean, out for you. All right, do you guys have any questions for us about anything? Awesome, well, thank y'all. Let's give this team a round of applause. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. Right on there.